Welcome back, everyone. Moving into state news tonight. The eyes of the sports world will be on Sochi, Russia next month for the Winter Olympics. Local Olympians continue preparing for the Games. However, not all of them will be in Russia. My TV 20's Dave Laval tells us why some athletes will soon be headed for northern Michigan. Caitlin Hubbard and Dylan Smith are reaching new heights. So is Amy Ackley. They head to the top of Mount Brighton Ski Resort as part of their weekly training session. Just lean forward and... Coach Dennis Tierney gives them final words of it. There you go. The skiers make their way downhill. What makes them unique is they are among the hundreds of Special Olympians who take part in alpine skiing across Michigan. We have fun racing each other and going through the gates. Sometimes it's a little bit dangerous, but you have to watch where everybody else too. Skiing has been part of the Michigan Special Olympics for 15 years. It's one of the 22 sports that draws more than 21,000 athletes from across the state. They're out there, they're competitive, they're, um, they're as excited as anyone else when they cross that finish line. They did it. But the Special Olympics is facing an uphill struggle. It costs each ski team about $10,000 per season. Go! The skiers prepare for this weekend's races. Money raised from them helps the teams pay for equipment and lift tickets. There's no charge to the athletes. It's a lot of fun with my friends. She's having fun. That's, and that's really the, 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 the most important part of the, all of this. Go! Some could say tackling a sport like skiing shows how special these athletes are. They'd argue they're simply like everyone else. With your news, that's straight to the point. I'm Dave LaValle, TV20 News at 10. All right, thanks, Dave. And the ski finals of the Michigan Special Olympics will take place February 4th through the 7th at Shush Mountain in Traverse City.